And welcome once again here on THP 11's YouTube channel. I, Craig O'Neill, have the honor of reading the 13 finalists for the Diamond Book Award, which goes to the best children's book of the year, K through third grade. And today, we're going to go right inside a classroom and explore the life of one young man in a classroom. And chances are you may have someone in your classroom or someone you've gone to school with who is just like Rodney. Where's Rodney? See if he doesn't seem familiar to you as we read it together. Here we go. Where's Rodney? This is written by Carmen Bogan and it's illustrated by Floyd Cooper. Rodney! Where is Rodney? Once again, Rodney was not in his seat, and Miss Garcia had had enough. But Rodney had interesting things to do, like watch a big black bird soar over the cafeteria that smelled like yesterday's lunch, or catch a tiny pill bug creeping across the windowsill. He stood on his tippy toes to find the stray dog that bullied the neighborhood. Rodney was inside, but he wanted to be outside. Outside was where Rodney always wanted to be. Miss Garcia let out a long, deep breath. Oh. She stepped behind Rodney and tapped him on the shoulder. Rodney, join the class. The word of the week is majestic, Miss Garcia said. Majestic. Can you tell us what it means? Rodney looked around the classroom. There were a million eyes looking back. Nope. Miss Garcia took another deep breath. Oh. Rodney, balanced on one foot like a pink flamingo, Sue Lynn giggled and covered her mouth. Then he hopped into the air like a cricket. Cody chuckled, and then Rodney stretched out his arms like an eagle soaring high above. He, sit down, Rodney, Miss Garcia said. The whole class roared with laughter. Okay, majestic means grand and beautiful, Rodney. If you can't do your work, you won't be able to go on the field trip to the park on Friday, okay? But Rodney didn't care. He knew all about the park. It was a small, triangle-shaped patch of yellow grass next to the corner store and the bus stop. It had one large cardboard trash can and two benches where some grown-ups sat all day long. Yes, Rodney knew the park well. Anyway, Mama said to stay far away from that park. When the three o'clock bell rang, Rodney ran outside. He darted across the street and passed Miss Jackson, the crossing guard. Walk, she yelled, but he ran. He ran past the corner store. He ran past the bus stop. Then he ran past the triangle-shaped patch of yellow grass and the two benches and the broken gate where the bully dog slept. Now he could see Mama peeping out the window. She opened the door and gave him a big hug. I'm glad you're inside, she said. But outside was where Rodney wanted to be. Very early on Friday, the old yellow bus squealed, jerked, and rolled out of the school parking lot. Even before it reached the front gate, Sue Lynn and Amina were singing and playing clapping games. Everyone was excited, but not Rodney. And he knew that when they got to the park, they would all see that he was right. Parks are no big deal. The bus turned the corner onto 2nd Street. But Rodney thought the bus driver must be lost because he drove past the bus stop, past the corner store, and even past the patch of yellow grass. Sue Lynn and Amina kept singing and clapping. The old school bus rumbled rolled and creaked farther and longer than Rodney had ever been. Rodney gazed out the window. He stared at the white lines in the middle of the great highway. 
He counted the big trucks that passed the bus. He leaned to see the birds float above the fields of tall, dry grass. He watched the people in wide straw hats picking fruits and vegetables in neat rows. The old bus clanked, coughed, and choked. It climbed higher and higher until a great mountain swallowed it whole. At the other end of the tunnel, the mountain spit out the old bus into a flash of sunshine. No one laughed, no one talked, and no one wiggled. Su Lin and Amina even stopped singing. Look, everyone, Miss Garcia announced, it's the park. And finally, Rodney was outside. At the park, he was higher, he was lower, he was bigger, he was smaller, he was louder, he was quieter. He was faster, he was slower. Rodney was outside, more outside than he had ever been before. The sun sank in the sky. It was time to leave. Some of the children chatted and giggled. Some munched on leftovers, others dozed. Su Lin and Amina sang more songs. Where is Rodney? Miss Garcia asked. Rodney was sitting quietly, gazing out the window. Miss Garcia sat beside him. Do you like the park, Rodney? Oh, yes, he said softly. It's majestic. How about that? Rodney loves going outdoors. Is there somebody in your classroom, maybe you, that you like to go outside? Maybe you're not going to the classroom. Maybe you're seeing this from your house on your computer. Whatever the case, maybe you like to go outside and look at nature and learn things from nature. That's okay. It's all about learning. And Rodney, he learned about a new word, didn't he? Majestic. You know, the great thing about living in Arkansas is that you can find something majestic in just a short trip from wherever you are. Well, thank you for enjoying the book and joining me here on our Teach for 11 YouTube channel. More of the Diamond Book nominees can be found right here. Thanks for watching.